Bobby Laurie. 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 Don't. don't. Don't, don't book it. Why is it so... Oh, no, you've done it. Well, when you book basic, you get exactly that. A whole lot of basic and nothing. A whole lot of basic. (laughs) I didn't realize you had to sit in the middle. You have to sit in the middle. You have to board the airplane last. You're not allowed to use the overhead bins. You're not allowed to use... You're not allowed. They have you board last, so they can close them while you board, so you can't use them. Oh, my daughter had a backpack. They wouldn't let the kids have their backpacks. The backpacks are too big. Oh, no. See, so you have to to avoid them, and you should book through the airline, because the airline will tell you when you're booking a basic ticket. Some of the larger booking sites, not necessarily. And I've also seen babies being changed on the tray table. Oh, I know. Now, can you imagine eating that pasta you were just told to enjoy <laughs> off of this? No, no, no. No, I cannot. No. What don't you leave home without? Aftershave. Really? Yeah. How far ahead of the contestants are you? And how fast do you have to move when you get to a destination? The, the, ama- the, the definition of the amazing race is logistical nightmare. I try to build stuff that Wayne can play with. Because if he can play with it, he's going to jump into it, run around, and uh, drive it. I got to go outside and ride around on the bed. <laughs> okay, so that, I mean, that's like the highlight of my life you right put, now. put all that in context. <laughs> <laughs> the bags that the coffee are loaded in are very thin, and they burst often. So if you're at home and your coffee maker you know, has a malfunction in the coffee burst, where do you clean it? The kitchen sink. Yeah. On an airplane, what do you have? Ooh. The bathroom. Oh, no. Okay, it's not, oh, no. not, not a pretty sight. And something that a lot of folks don't do is they don't <laughs> read warning signs. That warning sign closest to you says, no drinking water. It sure does. So a lot of folks will brush their teeth in the bathroom. Why, I don't know. And will wash things in there. But you're also washing your hands in the same sink. And then, of course, at the end of the day, the coffee ends up on the cart and you're ordering it from your flight center. This looks good here. <laughs> Have you ever flown business or first class? Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, now, have you ever flown business or first, walked off the airplane and thought, wow, that food was so amazing, I'll have to try to make it at home? Mm-hmm. No? Mm-mm. Well, uh, you're not alone. But United is hoping that there are some people out there who think differently. The United Polaris Cookbook, yes, you heard that right, features a collection of mouth-watering recipes inspired by the United Polaris onboard dining experience. Virgin America, for a short while, had uh, braised short ribs that oh. were just Delicious. Yeah. I didn't try to recreate it though, but yeah. every time it was there in first class, I always said that there was one less so I can eat it for Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I mean, you have to do what you have to do. Bobby, I got one for you. Okay. This is a big one. I'm ready. If I get bumped off of a flight because the airline is overbooked and we've yes. all experienced mm-hmm. this, yes. what am I entitled to? Mm. According to the Department of Transportation, at least $1,300. Really? Wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. In cash, Let's live too. here. Let's okay. just sit here <laughs> okay. because that's okay. not happening to anybody. No. It, oh, oh, but it is. Just what? recently on a, on a domestic airline, someone walked away with $10,000. Oh, when people get so angry about this, what, can they do anything? There actually is some things to do, but first and foremost, it's really to be informed. You know, when you book an airline ticket, there's a lot of terms and conditions that you are agreeing to that a lot of people just click the agree button and hit next. I do. I I mean, everybody does. Last but not least is an app that is not for those hypochondriacs out there because it loads a map of your surrounding area and pinpoints all of the health outbreaks around you. Yeah, everything from rabies to the flu to West Nile virus. You know, it's really not for the weak at heart because we loaded it earlier and there's so many outbreaks around us right now. One of our best travel tips when traveling internationally is to skip the currency exchange at the airport altogether. When you get to your destination, go to a local ATM to withdraw some cash. Now, you might be hit with an ATM fee, but you'll get the most current and up-to-date exchange rates. A trip out to the desert is just a short ride from downtown Phoenix, and I headed out there to see what the desert had to offer. If you've never experienced the Sonoran Desert, a trip out to see its unique beauty is a must. Fort McDowell Adventures and the Wicopar Resort offer the perfect desert escape. I headed out to meet Amy Brubaker to start my adventure. Amy, thank you so much for having me out here. Of course, welcome to Fort McDowell Adventures. Thank you, we're only 40 minutes outside of downtown Phoenix and it's a completely different experience. Absolutely. Tours take you through the local tourist and historic sights and sounds, but also to some exclusive locations and experiences that have been arranged by Viking. Viking Cruises calls these excursions their privileged access experiences. In Worms, we were brought to a local Italian restaurant where we received an entertaining and delicious pizza-making demonstration. 